Hello everybody, we find ourselves today in this uh, beautiful town called Pisignano. Here is a beautiful map of uh, Pisoniano. Really beautiful guys. As you can see here, they have just uh, broken to pieces the plastic that they have put so that people and children do not use this anymore because otherwise they can get the corona. So this place guys is amazing, it's a small little town, maybe I will put an image if I can find it for the, with, with, where it shows also the mountains. Here it is, now you can really tell there are lots of mountains here. Uh, this place is really in the middle of this huge mountains, just beautiful. And uh, the only problem guys, which is a huge problem is the sheep guys and um, since you know the elite has, has has made it impossible to live in such cities small towns the problem is is this guys uh, here the problem are so the the rent is low which is a good thing but uh, the problem is you don't get quality food here guys for example in Rome there's huge uh, well, now with this virus thing, everything is getting harder to find, but quality food, you know, organic, you can find it in Rome easily. Uh, but in such places, since they do not want people to, to grow and to sell their products, the only thing Italians are allowed to do is this olives. Just olives. They let them do only this. And if you uh, make a garden, you know, to sell their own food, you know, you will get, uh, you, you will be put in jail. So, in this way, you know, the only way to stay here, guys, is if you want to eat really junk food from the supermarket, which are, just sells junk, really. And, um surrounded by really really dumb people guys well they are everywhere you know even in rome and everywhere you know but uh, let me show you one thing for example another another thing that uh, it's important at least for me is to have a spring water in in this possible town that i will uh, i will move myself so this is a park this park was beautiful yes over there in the middle of, of the two trees you can see another Maybe that one is Charretto Laziale, it's the name, over there, over there. And here, I just, uh, you know, stopped here and uh, ate, and luckily, guys, luckily, I don't know, it it's, depends on the spot, you know, there were no mosquitoes, which is rare. The mosquitoes, at least the other year, was crazy. So here, the, I saw this beautiful girl studying, a, a, a huge book here and uh, I thought to myself okay I will move down there in the shade of that tree there so that I do not bother her you know she was reading here I found her here and ju I just asked her do you know if there is water here because it was it would have been cool so that I could wash my my fruits and uh, tomatoes that, that I bought you know she told me there is this water here look but you, I, I please, do not drink it because it's filthy. Look at the water, guys. Look at the, the sign there says, do not drink this water. This is classic, guys. The dumb sheep, guys, have been programmed by, by who uh, handles them to see clean water as poison. Look how they treated this, guys. This is pure clean water, but, you know, the people of control are safe. They program them on the opposite way. To think that to drink water in in a plastic, you know, bottle or from the tap water is safe. Because what they do with these dumps is they say to them, "We have not made the analysis of the waters, so we cannot assure you that it is safe to drink." This is spring water, guys. Thank God they do not put their hands, their filthy hands, on this water. And so, uh, 
since this spring water you can get it only on the mountains here like this and uh, this is the second important thing that I want in a place water and it, sh and it should be spring water otherwise you are poisoned to death and and, and also it's free and uh, food food is really a problem here guys unless you have people that are have gardens and somehow can sell you something how can you get food here guys only with the true supermarket that has this small town here you get only junk food you know i i would enter to these stores guys and i would stay there like for 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 minutes and they see me like as i'm crazy you know because i spent too much time but because i i see there's nothing i can buy here from this they only sell junk you know and uh it's crazy and i usually go with the i don't go with the flow i go with uh, usually tomatoes and i ask them if they are italian you know just that but it's not being grown in a healthy way yeah. so important now i charge myself with water guys and um uh, here people are very dumb in this small town guys and i think i will move to the next town which is called saint vito san vito i knew you really wanted to see the map of san vito for the last time i will go back again to in the center of this town pisignan which is as i said beautiful place uh, uh, down there you can see this mountain here is the highest of this region so the church that the, just where is the bird that one is the church where i slept uh, as you can see here on the top of this mountain here uh, where i slept yesterday now i i managed to sleep even though i, I slept in a bench like this there over the, uh, up there up there and uh, you know this situation man it, it just uh, breaks you psych psychologically you know when you have no way to to control the future of your life and um, you have so, so you have the system all against you you know you try to make things good and in a safe way and everything but you have a, a, a wave of morons and, and, and of a system which is totally uh, against life you know? so it's very hard but for the moment we are alive guys and um, I call this series Exodus because um, like you know I'm also trying to free my people to free my people from Rome, guys. We are in exile, in um, in slavery, like like you know the the Jews that uh, were in slavery in Egypt, and then God took them to their land. Uh, in the same way, I'm, that's why I called it Exodus because I'm doing the same thing. I'm trying to I'm trying really to free my people. <laughs> Which again, if someone else wants to join, you know, I'm pleased. But uh, most of the people do not even see that there is a problem. That they are slaves, for example. And even after all this happened, you know, like, you know, you really were a slave, you know, when you were not allowed to exit your home, you know. But yet it wasn't enough, apparently. So, my, my people are just my family members. And... Uh, most of them you know, do not even want to to come out of Babylon, you know, Rome. Is 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 Babylon Rome? Is Rome Babylon, uh, or is it uh, USA, or is it Israel? Is it? Let's fight over this. So let's go to the last thing. I'll, I'll go to Pis uh, Pisignano. It's a name, funny name. Uh, just to see. If I can uh, get like free internet so that I can upload some videos and, uh, and check things online quickly and uh, and then move quickly because then it starts to become late huh? and uh, I will see this uh, other town which is a, a little bit bigger than this San Vito let's see if there I will uh, find a place where to stay I would have 
very well uh, slip here guys but again um, when night comes comes you know it becomes creepy you know even though it's very clean and very nice and quiet place you know but you never know you know so I prefer to have a roof over my head always let's see what happens guys bye bye So I see this flyer on the street guys, they are investigators, like, like if your wife is cheating on you and BS like this, you know, you can call them, but it was funny, you know, to see the Masonic A here, <coughs> alias, they're everywhere. Here's an obelisk guys, right in the face of the dump ship. I have no idea what's the meaning of this thing. We can see the... Well, I thought... Yes, here it is. The Templar Cross, yeah? The Pentagram Cross. And now, here's the Third World War, guys. Will be this one. Every, we stay home, it says here. It's opposite because I'm on the other side. And we can see all kinds of... BS, a dumb sheep who says, yeah, I like to be a slave, yeah, I stay home, you know. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Hey guys, do you know what happens when nobody gives you a place where to sleep? You sleep in a baby, like this. It's easy, man. You know, the prices were two pieces of shit. The two ones that I asked. One, one was from U Ukraine, and another one was Italian from Sicily. Both of them said no. So I'm trying for the first time my BV, guys. I'm trying for the first time my BV. It looks very warm, you know? but let's hope the sheep will eat, because since there is a postal office, as you can see here, and um, what happens is, it's very central, as the place is very central, and so, people, people passing and maybe see me like this and just freak out, or maybe the, the people that check for the postal office see me with the camera, who is this guy? <laughs> Maybe they will come and uh, make me a visit later. Let's hope not. So this is why I have I have this pipe that hopefully will not pee on me. Yeah, this is what you get guys. This is the world we live in. Who wants to, to do this? But what can you do man? Nobody helped here. This, in uh, this second town, that was Pisognano whatever and this this other town is called whatever too <laughs> who cares man? Uh, San Vito so uh, the cool thing is that now I can check my internet all the time because the Wi-Fi of this postal office is too, too powerful and uh, looks like I'm very warm so it looks like uh, I will be able to but this is waterproof but uh, let's hope it doesn't rain guys because I don't trust it so see you tomorrow guys for another adventure. Oh man. Ooh. Me and my pot. See say bye bye. Good night everybody. <laughs>